Good afternoon, good morning, uh, happy holidays. So what we're going, what I'm going to be doing for you all, and I'll be uploading this to the page, is I'll be prepping my Thanksgiving slash Christmas meal. So you know, you pretty much eat the same thing twice for Thanksgiving and Christmas back to back. So what I'm going to show you all in a series of videos is how this is going to work out. Um, YouTube, I do not own the rights to any music. I do not own the rights to any music that may or may not be playing in the background. Well, introduce yourself to your kids. Go right ahead. This far. Hey guys, it's Chef St. Clair here. So, Chef Tim and I are going to be walking you through how we do our Thanksgiving and our Christmas meal from beginning to end, and I will upload it on our... Um, Perspective Schools YouTube pages. So be on the lookout for Thanksgiving for now, and then um, our next break we will upload our Christmas meal. And we will also include how we grocery shop in our Christmas meal planning. Stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna soak these black eyed peas, okay? So black eyed peas, uh, on the back of the bag here, on the back of the bag here, on the black eyed peas right there, it says, uh, it says quick soak. Back of this bag, it reads right here. Quick soak. Rinse and sort beans in a large pot. One to two pounds of beans. Add eight cups of hot water. Drain. Let's just get the bigger bowl. Just pour them in there. Because these beans are going to um, quadruple in size. Right? Yes. So the quick soak method. Don't even worry about that. That's not going to, this quick soak method that's on the bag, trust me, that is not going to work. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. I was uh, working at the Grand Hyatt years ago, and the executive chef and I, uh, he said, well, he said, Tim, you don't have to soak the beans. I was like, really? It's like, I've been soaking black eyed peas all my life. He's like, no, all you have to do is put them in a pot of boiling water and, and let them sit. And they'll be ready to go," he said Chef. "That's not going to work." And he said, "No, no, Tim, no, it'll work." So I said, "All right, Chef, this is what we're going to do. Let's take half the beans, we boil half, like you say, and we soak my half overnight, and we'll see which beans are ready." He boiled his beans, but two minutes. He cooked them; they weren't ready. The next day, my beans were ready. So I'm telling you this from experience. You take your beans, put them in a, uh, a pot, a bowl, what have you, fill it up with cold water, cover them, and then the next day, they'll be ready to go, okay? So, so we have our beans right here in this bowl. We're going to cover them with some water. We're going to cover them with cold water? Yeah, cold water. And you want to explain that to me. Well, you don't want to um, put warm water in there because these are going to sit overnight. And if you put warm water in it, basically you're playing with the temperature danger zone again. Right. And then that warm, that cold water is actually going to help them hydrate faster as well. So that's why you use cold water. So you got this right here. Is there a lid? 
Just put a lid on it and just set it. Just basically set it and forget it. So that's um, that is the first of our couple of videos right here. This is our soaking of the black eyed peas. We'll come back to that tomorrow where we'll add some onion, celery, bell pepper, and smoked turkey and or neck bones to that. And we'll simmer those until fork tender. All right, we'll be back soon.